on the 60th anniversary of the Workers' Party of Korea. The National Book Exhibition was held in grand style. The next stop on our tour of North Korean boredom and propaganda was the Great People's Library, which is this massive library that they're very, very excited about. And they make you walk the whole goddamn thing. And the first thing you learn is that Kim Jong-il invented the best, most perfect reading desk, because you can alter the level of the desk. So the kind lady personally sat down on the chair and taught us that the desk should be remade conveniently for the readers mm. to regulate it according to the seating height of the readers. Kim Jong-il invented it, and it's the best desk ever. And you're like, okay. <laughs> it's a table with, like, you can uh, move a level. It's like a simple table. <laughs> Then they take you to the philosopher hotline, which I found pretty interesting, which is if you have a like philosophical Marxist dialectic problem, then you can come to the library and ask the sort of philosopher god. They come here to ask professors about their questions. Then the professors give them the correct answers immediately. In this auditorium, we give lectures collectively and also held scientific seminars. So the persons with academic degrees or titles are taking part in the scientific seminars. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you. The other thing I found amazing is they're very proud of their modern music library. They've got the Beatles and they've got like, you know, Bob Dylan and stuff. But the music room was completely empty. And I started thinking about why they have this kind of place. It seemed to me that it was used for maybe upper echelons or party officials or guides or wannabe guards to learn idiomatic speech so that they'll understand what we say when we talk in vernacular. So you can sort of picture them with headphones on listening going, Abbey Road, I understand those bastards now. Mm -hmm.